so if we had two vectors, all right, and what I simply want to show us is what is going to be, what if, what if I said, you know, we know right now when taking two vectors how to be able to find the component form and then also be able to find the magnitude. Well, let's say I wanted to say, what about u plus v? You know, what is that going to look like? Or how can we go ahead and represent that, all right? Well, let's go and first, let's go and take a look at what our resulting vector would, would actually look like. So let's pretend we have a graph here. And let's say we say u likes this, so here's u. And let's say there's v. All right? If I want to find u plus v, what we're simply going to do, and these are two um, component forms of vectors, all you're simply going to do is take your initial point all right, and what we're going to do is we're going to transpose our v at the, initial, at the end of our other vector. I'm going to try to do this as best I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to transpose one vector at the end of the other vector. So you guys can see, all I'm doing is I'm transposing one vector from its component form to the tail end of the other vector. What that does is now that creates our new vector, u plus v. Okay, So if I have two vectors in their component form, I can, to find u plus v, I take the, one, the initial side of one vector, or the initial point, and I now transpose it to the terminal point of the other vector. Then my resultant vector from our origin to the, to the terminal point of my second vector is now going to be the vector in component form of u plus v. So algebraically, how is that going to look like? Well, all we need to do to find that algebraically is do u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2. OK? That's pretty much it. Oh. Well, real quick, I'm not going to go through it. Um, we can do a visual representation of subtraction as well. All right. If you had two other vectors, now rather than adding, all right, what you can now simply do is when you take that resulting vector, you can now actually look into subtracting one from another. But u times u minus v is going to be the same thing. u sub 1 minus v1 comma u sub 2 minus v sub 2. So that's vector addition and subtraction.